I'm going to talk about how to subtract fractions with different denominators uh, using fraction strips. It's very similar to adding them, just one small difference. <clears throat> For example, if we have 7 tenths minus 2 fifths, what you would do is put your one whole strip here, just as a reference, and then you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths, that's seven tenths right here. And then you'd put, instead of putting the two fifths next to it, as you would if you were adding, you put it underneath. So the two fifths, one fifth, two fifths, are right here. And then, and then your answer is gonna be whatever fits in this space here. It's kind of, it kind of models subtraction, subtracting numerically. You put the big number on top, then the smaller number, and then you figure out the difference between the two. Okay? So now we're going to go to our fraction strips. Okay, so I've put 7 tenths and 2 fifths uh, on my uh, fraction strip, using fraction strips. I put the uh, 7 tenths up here and the 2 fifths down here. So I need to figure out what fits here. Well, I can look, I can see that what I have left over actually is 3 tenths, and that does not simplify at all. My answer is going to be 3 tenths. And that's it. That's my answer. Right there. So we go to the next one. Here we have... 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. And they model this for us. They have one whole, two 1 third pieces, and then we subtract 1 fourth, so we put it on the bottom, and then we figure out what fits in this space here. So 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. So I have 2 thirds here and 1 fourth here, and I need to figure out what goes in this space. So let me try, I don't know, 1 sixth. Okay, unfortunately that does not fit. So I'm gonna try something smaller. Maybe 1 12th. And it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths fit in there. So my 2 thirds minus 1 fourth is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths. And that's really all there is to it. So let's do a few more. <clears throat> I have 3 fourths minus 1 third. Now this time they don't give me the model, I have to do it myself. So I have my 3 fourths here and 1 third here, and I need to figure out what fits in here. So, let's see. Let's try sixths. No, that doesn't fit either. So, let me try 1 twelfth. Oh, this one is also 5 twelfths. So, oops. So, 3 fourths minus 1 third equals 5 twelfths. 3 fourths minus 1 third is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths. Okay, so now we'll move on to the next one. Now I have 5 sixths minus 1 half. So here's 5 sixths minus 1 half. I put the 5 sixths up here and the 1 half here, and I need to figure out what fits in this space. Well, I can already see 2 sixths fits in this space, but if I look at 2 sixths, both the top and bottom are even, so that means I can simplify it. So I'm going to simplify it by putting a 1 third, by putting a 1 third here, and that fits perfectly. So my problem is 5 sixths, which is here, minus 1 half, which is here. My answer is this block here, which is 1 third. <clears throat> All right. The next one is 3 fourths minus 7 twelfths. Okay, so I have my 3 fourths here, my 7 twelfths here, so 3 fourths minus 7 twelfths. I need to figure out what goes in this little part here. Um, <clears throat> I bet a couple more twelves would fit in here. There's one and two. So, but this 
gives me, and this is my answer, 2 twelfths. It's correct, but it's not simplified. Now the top and, because I know this because the top and bottom <clears throat> of this fraction are even. So I can still simplify this. And one sixth actually fits there perfectly. So it is, it is simplified. Now that's 3 fourths minus 7 twelfths equals 1 sixth. And that is how you subtract using fraction strips. If you are unable to get to this, uh, for these virtual fraction strips, then please download the uh, paper ones that are on my website. <clears throat> I've also given some out to students who said that they, they might not have internet access at home.